there has been an explosion and a fire at CERN, Geneva, Switzerland. Unfortunately, this is not on the CERN site. I just looked into that again two minutes ago. And it's not on major news media, but it has been detailed by one of the CERN scientists, Paddy Brassard, who gives a basic rundown of the tremendous destruction of the CERN Collider. So um, she does talk about what took place uh, at the Hadron Collider. It's a complete disaster, so the whole thing is totally out of commission. And what can we say? We can say, thank God. I just saw this news today, Sunday, November 22nd. Thank you for everybody who's been praying for this stop. Obviously, our Lord Jesus Christ does hear our prayers. His angels do go to work, uh, and accidents do happen. From what Patty Broussard says, some scientists thought that the collider was off when it was actually still on. These people, by doing this, uh, not being careful, show that they're totally unprofessional, totally unreliable, and uh, the whole thing concerning particle colliders perhaps should be scrapped because these are the best scientists in the world that work there. So she goes into some detail. She says that the CERN colliders and the other parts of it concerning Atlas and Alice and all this, everything concerning the connections with CERN in Geneva. There was an explosion and a geyser went up, a very strong geyser shooting up into the air. This is an equivalent of a nuclear catastrophe, she says. Uh, the CERN premises have 24-hour closed-circuit cameras everywhere. Uh, scientists have been telling us that they're looking for the Higgs boson god particle and they say that they found it. Uh, others uh, say, well, we're looking for black matter, dark matter, we're looking to open up wormholes. A few uh, weeks ago we also had scientists telling us that they wanted to reach parallel universes. All this type of nonsense and obviously very dangerous things to look into. 